Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode three, to episode three of this wing build. Today we're going to go on with actually putting the skin on the wheel, wing and fully assembling it. First thing we're going to do though is do a bit of fairing. We're just going to use some lightweight mic microspheres with some resin, fill in these gaps here. Give it a very rough smooth off just to fill in any of the, the divots and notches and stuff. After that, we're going to add the wing extensions on, the leading edge, trailing edge, all that back before we start skinning. So you can see I've just taped and temporarily secured the leading edge onto the um, main section of the main part of the wing. From there I can use this known distance here to give me an X reference to line up the leading edge of the extension and the leading edge of the main wing. Uh, and then I can secure this reference surface here against this reference surface here along this line here, just using a bit of tape um, in order for it to bond in place. This way I can then take the leading edge off later and then realign it so its top surface and bottom surface lines up with the top surface and bottom surface extensions and therefore there's no jigs or templates or anything else like that required. It's overly complicated, it's going to go bad. I know I talk about lessons learned every time that we do these videos and like one of my last lessons learned during the build of the wing in part two was that this uh, sicker flex or one, two, three sicker, whatever it was called, glue, I shouldn't use because it takes too long to cure. When I did the first part of this video you've seen, I decided to use that glue again. Uh, my rationale was that it was a pretty rigid joint. It actually set up quite nicely, even though it took a long time to set up. Uh, but I thought it would be quite good. And as this is a lot of overhang hanging off the end of the wing, uh, it would work out nicely in this particular situation. Well, I should pay attention to what I say during my lessons learned, because this bond here, it didn't set. So I let it sit there for over a week and I came back out and gave the wing a wiggle and it, it didn't actually hold in place. It, it just pulled away uh, and it was tacky here still. So that was, that was an entire week of waiting in you know, pretty good conditions. It's 24 degrees Celsius every day here, um, or up to 30 in fact, and it didn't cure up in that time. Uh, I don't know if this is a moisture cure adhesive or like what actually kicks it off, but whatever it was, it didn't actually work. If anyone knows in the comments, can you let me know? Uh, that would be really appreciative. Um, but it didn't work, so what I've done instead is I've just pulled it off, let it expose to the air for a couple of days. It's now fully hardened up, um, and I'm just going to give that a quick knock off with a sander, uh, and then I'm going to go back and do what I said I'd do in the first video, which is use hot glue. There we go. Uh, it's been 20 minutes in this, um, this end piece here, it's up nice and strong. Um, far better in 20 minutes than it did with the other glue in 7 days. So what we're going to do now is just put the leading edge on and then put the trailing edge on and then let them set up in, in addition.
using a knife to trim the bulk of the material off the edges just to get it square. And then we'll come in and we'll finish it just using a sanding block. So I've been speaking to my mate who wants this wing and he's told me that it needs to be a little bit shorter than it actually is at the moment. So I've got to take it down from uh, about 1580 millimetres uh, down to about 1400 mil. So that needs to take 90 mil off each side. I've just gone to all the effort to get this nice and square and I was thinking about it. I'm like, I can cut it with a Stanley knife again, same way as I did it beforehand. Or I can try something a little bit different, um, use the hot wire cutter get it all nice and squared and jigged up and everything and then just you know drop the hot wire cutter straight through it. So this is probably a cop out but I'm really glad now that I made my hot wire cutter nice and janky so that I can just pick it up and use it like this instead of building it into a bench. Alright so the wing here has had the top surface all fared off, it's cut to the right length, all the edges are squared and I've got marks sitting in the side here to find the center line so I can then pick up the uh, mounting points on the bottom side of the wing um, and you know everything is set for this top surface here to be uh, given its first couple of layers of carbon. The biggest thing I can't do is sand on the trailing edge at the moment because it's too thin. I've made up a, a single sheet of carbon with pure ply in it. I have to wet this out still. Get that whole surface covered with a single layer of carbon all bonded down to the spars and that will provide some rigidity to the back edge here so I can flip this whole thing over give it a sand, put a bit more weight on it, get it nice and smooth. These ends now will be joined together with the layer of carbon over it so it'll you know, hold the shape a lot better. That will allow me to shape it properly and then I can then put the rest of the carbon on the wing. So as with everything on this project, this is all uh, not going to be under vacuum, it's all open air cure. Um, so I've laminated one layer of carbon, one layer of pure ply here, and then I've pre pregged it between two sheets of plastic, and I've cut it out to the right size. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move over to the wing, I'm going to peel off this back sheet here, and I'm going to lay this carbon down against the uh, surface of the wing, uh, and smooth it on, and uh, let it set, set up overnight. Making sure the pure ply stays stuck to the carbon, which it has, which is excellent. Once again, so satisfying. Now I'm just going to go through and just you know, make sure that carbon is all worked into the wing.
show. Fucking dirty again. Do you want to? Oh, this album is nasty. Yeah. And it's got next to my power. So I don't know about you, but I have a problem where I have to rush the demold. And I've got to constantly tell myself, just relax, let it cure properly, give it some time. Well, on this one, I've got the opposite problem. It was actually laid up about four or five weeks ago, and it hasn't been touched since. So, time to demold. So you can see here, the surface is not exactly perfect on this wing, which is quite disappointing. Uh, we'll cover a bit more of that in the lessons learned side of things. Because this wing's pretty beefy, we're going to take it, and we're going to give it a sand, and we're going to smooth it out completely. And from there, we're going to put a single capping layer, kind of a skin, just on top of it, which will again give it a bit more strength, but it will also just give a really nice, smooth, aesthetic finish. So I wasn't overly happy with the surface finish on the wing, so I've given it another go with the uh, micro beads and the, like a slurry, um, just to try and smooth it out a bit more. Bunch more sanding, but hopefully it comes up nicely. So I'm just putting this single layer on last now, just as a complete single surface, of just the same type of carbon fibre, just to give it a nice visual aesthetic top. This is why I don't like doing aesthetic parts, because it takes so much extra time. Okay, with the carbon, the peel ply on, and the wing just curing, I'm just going to leave this one here. So into the lessons learned. First up, I should have listened to myself last time when I said I should use hot glue instead of using the Sikaflex. Hot glue made everything so much easier, and it's something that I'll be doing again in the future. The second point, and one of the most annoying, was the fact that I put too many layers on the wing in one go. Instead of doing like that seven layer layup and then just trying to smooth it all on, get all the air, bubble, air bubbles out, what I should have done is put two layers at a time on or so and stippled it in place. So then I wouldn't have had to do all this refairing and sanding and, and all that other kind of jazz. Thankfully, the wing was nice and thick and still is nice and thick. And it's actually over-designed and a bit of overkill. So because it's thick, I could afford to sand into some of those layers of carbon fiber. But it just took a lot of extra time. It wasted money. I shouldn't have had to put an extra layer of carbon on there. Like, it's just a pain. So I really should have just slowed down a little bit there. Instead of trying to do the whole thing in one layer, I should have taken my time and done you know, two or three layers at a go just to make sure there's no air bubbles trapped. And my final lesson learned out of this one is that I should have actually put a second pivot point in here somewhere so that instead of the whole wing, you know, rocking backwards and forwards, that I would have been able to just have it as a single, you know, solid, rigidly mounted thing that I can change its orientation uh, from vertical to horizontal to whatever in order to allow me to get better access to it and actually put a bit of pressure on the wing rather than it moving all over the place. 
So thanks for watching and thanks for sticking with me. I know this video took a while to get out. Uh, if you like my videos, please consider liking and subscribing. And I hope to see you in the next one.